Hello creators, C Bullock here, and today we're going to be looking at filters in Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021. So to go to your filters, you're going to find those under this magic wand here, and you have a variety of different filters. Some of these come with effects packs, but most of them are included in the base program. So first I'm going to drag down my video and whatever video you're working with. And we'll just look at these bunnies for now. And then you can drag down your filter. So I'll click the magic wand again and then choose any of these filters that I'd like to apply to it. So we have a variety of different things. You can put filters on that add like a old movie style kind of thing. There's flying object filters. Now some of these filters can overlap, some of them cannot. So if I'm working with like the, these two filters, you can see they overlap. But if I try to apply another filter with the floating things on it, then they kind of cancel each other out. So you, you can check which filters are applied to any clip by clicking this little star here on your video. And then it will bring up applied effects. This will include filters and other effects you have on your video. To remove the effect, I can click the X. Or to change how strong it is, I can adjust that here. So you can see for like the overlay flying objects, they it just makes it a little more transparent there. So we're going to go ahead and remove all of those filters. Some of my most, uh, some of the filters I use the most often are the adjustments here. So I can flip a video, which is nice if you have mirrored video from your phone that you'd like to flip. It also works well if you are trying to flip clip art. So let's say I have this dog and I want him to face the other way. So I can rotate him here, but if I try to flip him by like dragging this across the opposite way, it won't let me. So you can see, yeah, that's useless. So now what we'll do is just drag the flip filter down and then it will flip him the other way. And then I can access that here if I want to remove it. You can also flip objects vertically or both ways. So I can flip it vertically and sideways. So we don't need him flipped that way though. You can invert colors, you can mirror things, so it makes him like a two-headed dog. You cannot really animate these or like fade the technique out, but you can cut your clip and apply it to only that piece of the clip. So if I cut it here and here, then I can use this clip and apply whatever function I want. Let's say I want to use the adjustment here with the magnify, the fisheye kind of thing. And it'll just kind of pop in whoop, like that. You can use that to accent maybe things you're saying and it kind of has that fisheye bubble effect. Okay, so another one I use quite often is the artistic camera shake. So I'll use that to shake the image. And that works for different things. I'll use it to accentuate, like, if uh, it's a, like in a gaming video, if I say something, I'm like, ah, or whatever, I'll actually have the screen shake at the same time. And I will cut my clip, again, just to apply it to that piece. So let's say I'm yelling somewhere, and then I'm going to have the camera shake on that part of the clip. You can use it to shake clip art as well. I will just drag that same effect, the camera shake, down to that, and then the the corgi will shake like he's afraid or something. Yeah, I use that for different animations. It, you cannot use it on text or stickers, which is really a shame. It would work really well for stickers or text, but you, you can't apply it to stickers or text. So these filters can be applied on overlays, though. So if I have a video overlay, if I have a any kind of PNG overlay, then all of this can apply to those. So if I want to make it... Uh, like a sketch. I can turn that like this. If I want to twirl it, make it like twirl in, like a crazy twirl kind of effect, you can do that. But cannot apply it to things up here. So if I want to try to apply it to this, it will not let me. Or if I want to apply it to even a simple sticker, like a smiley face, it will not let you put it on there. There are a couple of these filters that you can use for an intro. 
So I will cut the beginning of the clip and then I will apply this brush effect. So it will start like that and then kind of fill in the color. You can do the same thing with this saturation brush and it will just kind of color it in. Which makes for a cool opening effect with like your title on top. We have our effect in behind it. So it's just kind of opening up bunnies. So if I combine my filters with the transitions like this VHS here with a glitch transition, which I believe are only available in the 2021 version. Uh, then I have this glitch here and it will transition from this here to that, which makes for some neat edits. I can also combine that with sound effects to make make it even cooler. I think I got this sound effect from YouTube Studio Audio Library. That's where I get most of my sound effects, though I do have a couple other places I'll get free sound effects from. But I'll just drag that over there. And this one we would, we'd probably, let's see. So that does. Like that. So you can see the difference the sound effect makes on the transition there. It makes it stand out so much more. There's so many different ways you can combine these. So if you just kind of play around with it, you will find different ones. Just get creative with it. You'll be surprised with what you might come up with. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like this tutorial. And we'll see you next time.